Welcome to setting up ClickUp for the new year. So if you have not, go back and watch my other video, the ClickUp cleanup, where we kind of just cleared everything out for 2022. And now we're ready to start organizing ourselves for the next year. So here's what I like to do over here on spaces on the left. I like to group everything into a new space based on areas that I know for sure I'm gonna work on. So I know for sure I'm gonna do YouTube, pretty fabulous. And for this year, I am actually counting my time learning a course as actual work. So I added courses over here and I have writing. Now I have this one new area. This is just a list here. It's called my weekly to-do list. So this is where, and obviously I haven't used this since October, this is where I just stick some last minute things for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of that week I wanna work on. They don't necessarily fit into a project. It's kind of my catch all to make sure I get things done. And then over here, the very last uh, column is complete. So that is my board view, but let's go back over here. So let's create a new space together. So let's say a new space that you're gonna work on for the new year I know is Card Deck Academy. So I'm just gonna call this the name of my space. And again, you can do a couple different things. I'm gonna make this uh, purple. That's the color I'm using for card decks. And then I can go ahead and upload an icon. I have a couple different icons to choose from. It's gonna be teeny tiny over here on the left. So it's probably more important that I just pick something that has a overall color seam that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna upload this and I can resize this over here. So we just get the actual circle. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Can move this over here. I'm gonna hit save. Now that is my new avatar for this space. And remember the avatars are square. So this is our circle. It looks a little odd. And you can obviously pick any of these pre uh, defined ones down here as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and say next. This is gonna go into my regular workspace. I don't share this with the team, uh, so I don't have to worry about privacy. Now for the statuses, we're gonna use what's called the Kanban method. So this has open in progress review. Now this is, um, I believe a custom one that I created, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of review because that's just too much. We just have things that are open. And instead of saying open, I'm just gonna call this my to-do list. Uh, so this is just stuff, I guess, to do. Uh, the next one is in progress. And now I can change this color to any color I want. So let's say maybe I really like the yellow color showing that something has to be done. For to-do, maybe I want green, as in like, get going. Um, and then maybe I, for the close status, um, I'm going to go ahead and maybe I wanna change this instead to say complete. Um, and you can, I thought I could change, maybe I can't change the color. Um, I can not change that color. So <laughs> let's go ahead and change the to-do color uh, to blue and then in progress, let's go ahead and just change that to purple. Okay, so then we're gonna have next. Uh, so enable ClickUp app. So this is really not important for me to have multiple signees, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I do like the idea of custom fields. I do all of my time tracking using a, the A tracker app, so I don't actually use track those inside of ClickUp. Um, and I don't really need tags, so I'm gonna turn those off. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say next. I'm gonna make board my default view because I do like looking at things like a Trello board. Uh, I don't even need, uh, I do kind of like looking at things as a list. Um, it's always required, so I don't really have to turn that on or off. I don't need a calendar for this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create that space. So now that I've created this new space, I can see that I have to-dos and progress and complete. So what I'm gonna do is over here, I'm just gonna start adding tasks in. So I know that I need to create a sales page. And I also know that I need to create a lead magnet. And I also know that I need to create a welcome sequence. I know that I need to create a webinar. So all these things I know I need to work on. I can go ahead and just leave these. I could add dates to these, but right now I'm just gonna leave these in to do. So like when I want to work on this project and once I start working on stuff, I can kind of move things over as I keep 
as I keep going. So that is how I think you should set up everything. So we have card deck, we have a uh, pretty fabulous. And then within there, I have folders because I have courses that I'm going to, going to make. I have uh, planner refreshes that I'm going to do, which really I should rename this. This is, uh, I know I have to do the same thing. This is going to be 2024 uh, planner refresh because 2023 planners are already done. Um, so I know I need to do those. And then over here, what I've done is I've had tasks inside of that folder. I have different lists inside of there, and I'm going to put different tasks inside of each of those items. So for annual, for example, I have created a new cover, new marketing mock-up. So I don't have to do anything new because they're just going to move right over. Um, again, 2023, I can probably change this to 2024. And that is pretty much all I have to do for each of these items. So this is a great way for you to kind of just start at the top, start with the space. That's the first thing you want to do. Use that Kanban method to do in progress complete. So as you can see, I didn't add an in progress. So what I could do is come over here, edit statuses, and I can go ahead and use one of my custom statuses. I can use that Kanban. Um, remember, I didn't like the review one. So, well, actually I do need the review one for dated so that we can QA these. Um, and I'm just gonna put this to do, and I'm gonna change this color to orange, or no, maybe to pink, pink, blue, purple, and green. And then I'm gonna change this, instead of closed, it's just gonna say complete. And we're gonna go ahead and save that. And now I have all of these new fields where I can start moving things over as I keep moving on them. Um, and then over here, I have freebies, I have website, I have all these different items inside of here. Um, and that's all you really have to do to set up 2023. I don't want you to overthink it. Yes, there are tons and hundreds of more bells and whistles. All you have to do right now is create a space, create your to-do list for that space, or if you have multiple courses that you're trying to create, then go ahead and make multiple lists and then group those together into a folder. So I hope that helps you to kind of like at least get yourself in there and organize for uh, what you want to do for 2023. And remember, a catch-all is your weekly to-do list. I would set this up where it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So if I know like for the week what I'm going to do, I will simply just put those in the to-do and then I'll kind of slot those into the days of the week that I think I'm going to work on those. Um, and again, you can come over here, edit your statuses, and your statuses for this one are actually going to be uh, the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then it goes all the way to Saturday, Sunday, and complete. And I do have a separate video on just how to set up this weekly to-do list. So let me know if you have any questions. Super excited to help you go through all of your goals for the new year. And if you're checking in with me on Mondays, every Monday I am doing a scrum. If you've never heard of a scrum, it simply means that you talk about what you accomplished last week, what you plan to do this week, and where you need help. And so if you want to see how I set this up for the week, make sure to join me on Monday, January 9th, and I will have this updated and set up and show you an example of how I plan out the week. All right. I will talk to everybody later. Bye.